Hey Panthers, it's Miss Boyer. I'm going for a hike at the wetlands with my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> and we just thought we'd share some of our walk with you. So let's get going. So we're walking down the trail at the Bolsa Chica wetlands in Huntington Beach, California. It's low tide and it's almost spring. So Panthers, it's getting closer to spring. And in these big palm trees at the Bolsa Chica wetlands, the herons are starting to nest. This is where they build their nests and lay their eggs so their babies can hatch. You see the heron? It's big, big birdie. Panthers, look, there's signs of spring. Look at these beautiful purple flowers. And then you can see some daisies. Let's go on the other side and look. Oh, you can't really see them. The sun's drowning it out. Oh, that's a pretty view. Let's run over here. There's the daisies. Oops, the daisy. <laughs> so in the winter, there was no flowers and the sage was totally bare, but I'll show you the sage is starting to come back too green. Sage is an herb that you can eat. We'll check that out in a minute. The daisy. Daisy, daisy, give me your answer true. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. <laughs> Your teacher's crazy. <laughs> the prickly pears are starting to even grow some prickly pear fruit. How about that? Those are cacti, but um, the prickly pear fruit's edible. I make jam out of it. Oh my gosh, Panthers, look. I found pickleweed. Now I know for a fact that pickleweed is edible and I know exactly what it looks like. You never, ever, ever eat anything from nature at all, period, unless someone has told you without any doubt or uncertainty that it is edible. So this is pickleweed and I know that it's edible. So I'm gonna pick a little piece of it. And I'm going to munch on it for you. A little snack. So Panthers, here's the pickle weed. I love pickles, so pickle weed tastes kind of sour and a little bit pickly. I like it. <laughs> Let's keep hiking. Oh my gosh, at the top of this tree, look what we found. These are my favorite. This is an osprey. Sometimes they're up in the tree eating fishies. They're definitely birds of prey. They're big, beautiful birds. Quite regal. All right, bye, Mr. Osprey. Look, we found another fun bird. It's a pelican. I think it's fishing. Shall we name it Petunia? Petunia Pelican. This pelican is an avid fisherman. And here there's the channel. This is the inlet from the ocean to the wetlands. I am fairly certain. Um, this is, um, I think this is a trash net. Like it, it captures things so that they, it doesn't get, um, so the trash doesn't enter the um, ecological environment. And across the street there, this is the wetlands. I know I've taken you here before, but not all of you, but I really love coming here. Across the street there is PCH, right there, that's across the PCH, that's PCH Pacific Coast Highway. That's the street that runs along the coast, up and down North 
on a balloon. Um, I'm going to take it out of the wetlands because it is litter, it is trash, and it may harm the wildlife here. The Bosa Chica Wetlands is an ecological reserve, as the sign says. That means that it's a place for animals to be protected. We need to not leave our litter. Here's a trail sign. We also have to follow the trail signs. This one says no dogs, no bicycles. So in this area, those things aren't allowed. I think so. Hey, Panthers. So we're at the wetlands. It's really windy here. You can see the water so choppy. But the sun looks pretty reflecting on the water. And the birds, oh, there's a seagull. It's so windy like they're almost flying backwards. And these birds over here are doing weird things too. They're all just standing there. I don't normally see that. I have a feeling it has something to do with the wind, but I'm not certain. I'm going to ask my cousin. They're just all kind of hanging out together over there. another trail sign it says no dogs no bicycles there's another sign let's look a little bit closer <gasps> it says watch out for rattlesnakes we have to make sure we pay attention to the signs sometimes they warn us of danger like i was saying before the sage is starting to turn green say hi dad hello <laughs> this was all brown all winter and you know sage is an herb it's edible you know, I was gonna eat some, but the taste is kind of strong. So we're just gonna, we're gonna smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Sage is an herb. You can use it for seasoning. And as I said, you can put it in hamburgers. Look, little purple flowers, more signs of spring. Pretty soon it's gonna be bursting with blossoms everywhere. Hey Panthers, so we're finished with our hike, with our walk. I'm happy that we got to bring you along with us. Um, we're gonna return. Um, I'm gonna bring you back here as we get closer and get into spring so that um, you can see the changes as the seasons change. Um, I, it's gotten a little chilly. I had to put my, my jacket on. It is actually my 2020 Dodgers World Champion jacket. Go Doyers! Don't tell Coach Frager. <laughs> Peace out Panthers.